one of the best ways to improve your account for free. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, how you doing today? I am very excited about this topic, and I do get asked this question a fair bit, and anytime that happens, I'm likely to make a video because I know that if some people are asking me the question, other people are also thinking about it. And that question is going to be centered on who to farm in Doom Tower because those bosses give you incredible resources here in the Forge to be able to craft gear. Now, you do need to farm Arena in order to be able to get the Magisteel for this, so some people don't play enough Arena and therefore they don't value the Forge as much as they should. I know it's a meme around here, I don't have my Great Hall finished yet, we are working on it, but as you can see, I do farm Arena, and I do save the Magisteel to be able to craft whatever I want to be able to craft. And so, this is one of the best ways to get gear on your account. We're going to dive into who you should farm and why, break down all of the rotations, and really give you something that doesn't exist on the internet as far as what I can tell. So if you appreciate that, put the like button and let me know in the comments below which is your favorite gear set and why, which ones do you think could use a buff, how would you buff them, all of those cool things, love hearing from you guys. Before we jump into all of that, let's go ahead and do the promo codes in case you have not seen them already. Now, um, over here in my theater, we are going to have two wonderful promo codes. Well, the first one's wonderful, Raid Community. You may have seen that already, but a second one came out as well, Raiding Reddit 200k. Let's go ahead and put that in over on mine because I have not used that yet. It is a pretty mediocre one, but free is free when we like free. All right, well, it looks like we're not going to be able to put that in, but that should get you a couple of little resources to go off of. Nothing crazy, but it will be a nice little boost for your account. I guess we'll see what that gets me um, whenever I'm done recording this video. Uh, in case you are an iPhone user like me, you need to go to the website in order to put that in or log into Polarium Play on a computer. But you can still get promo codes even if you have an iPhone. I know I do get that question uh, once in a while as well. Now let's go ahead and move on to the topic of this video and that is going to be your Doom Tower breakdown, okay? We have a lot of cool things going on in the Doom Tower, and one of them are the bosses. I think that's what makes this people's favorite content. There are three rotations, and we do end up using multiple of the bosses over and over again. But that is pretty nice because once you come up with a team that's decent, you can just use that in other rotations. Um, so we have these bosses, and we need to figure out who to farm and when and why, all of these things. Plus, stick around to the end of the video because I have some ideas on how we can improve this and make it even better. So on rotation one, which is the Frost Spider's rotation, we have the Nether Spider, the Magma Dragon, and the Scarab. And basically, just don't farm Scarab. He is, has no use, and most of the teams are very slow. So there's not great uses. Originally, I said farm the Magma Dragon. I love that gear set. That's fatal. You get attack. You get crit rate. It's great. It honestly is great, especially early game. Then I switched to saying, okay, well, Frostbiter seems good because you're going to be able to freeze people when they attack you. But then Sheep came into the game and it's like, ugh. So, no. And then the Nether Spider, we have Affinity Breaker as that set, trying to change weak hits into strong hits. And I've tested that in Phantom Shogun. It is just not reliable. I know some people like it. But basically, of those three, you could just choose what you want, okay? I, I labeled them all yellow, which means your choice. 
I like to farm a little bit of each of them because they do have their uses. Then you have options in, in terms of what gear you can craft. Scarab, as I said, is not really helpful. It's like immunity, but you just you don't even use immunity anymore. Stone skins in the game. I mean, there's just like a lot of reasons to not farm Scarab. Is there anybody who actually farms Scarab? Okay, rotation two is the Eternal Dragon rotation. And man, I wanted that gear to be good, but lifesteal... You don't need it, and neither do you need an upgraded version of life, uh, Lifesteal. Uh, I think that Magma Dragon and Nether Spider here on Rotation 2, you could farm if you wanted to, but I think the clear winner is going to be the Guardian gear. There are plenty of times on your account where you want Guardian gear, and this is a great opportunity to get it. You do not really have anybody competing with this, so farm the Griffin. Find a team that you can beat it fairly quickly, preferably under two minutes at the highest level you can do it whatever the highest level you can do that's what you should do as long as you can farm it reasonably quick um you want to farm the highest level because you do get more resources for the higher levels that you farm it's not crazy a lot but it is definitely more and then the ultimate winner here is dark fey Okay, um, there is no other option. Like, the main reason that you fight the Dark Fae is to get that lethal gear. I am still not really that happy with my lethal gear. I would love to get better gear. So, I'm trying to farm 120 on Dark Fae and then craft that gear and use it right away. I wish that Balmel was in a different rotation because here's his gear is actually good. But you would have to have like a strong team in order to beat him, which I'm actually looking forward to messing with that a little bit uh, on the next rotation. Again, no Scarab, and we already have a rotation where we're farming Griffin. We don't need two rotations. So there's no excuse. You farm Dark Fey, period. Whatever level you can farm, that's what you farm. Hopefully, at least you can do hard the first level on hard i think is level 40 for dark fey but making a team for dark fey is critical to the progression of your account now um i think that when you're done with the doom tower secret rooms and you have all of those champions they should just let us farm dark fey on all of the rotations but i don't know you tell me all right now on to the sweet ideas okay so we have three rotations on the doom tower but we have so many overlapping bosses why not split it up into four rotations and add eight new bosses you could have some overlap and add four new bosses but i would love to see this with eight new bosses in the doom tower this is people's favorite content you could easily add tons of fun for us on these rotations okay and that would also give us some new gear sets to farm it would be a huge hit with the community i think bommel should be his own rotation but if you wanted to feature a new boss you could like put bommel on like the frost spider rotation or something or i wouldn't put him on the eternal dragon one because we have griffin we basically you wanna you want at least one top gear set per rotation. And I think that actually maybe you could put the Griffin with the Frostbiter and Bommel with the Frostbiter. But regardless, I think having new bosses and making four rotations would be huge and awesome. So what would those bosses look like? Let me tell you, I have so many ideas, okay? This is just barely scratching the surface, okay? I have always loved the idea of a Goblin King boss. Then he would have his Goblin minions. We could have a Swamp Thing boss. We could have an Undead Pirate, a Lich Lord, the Lady of the Lake, a Manticore. We could have a Two-Headed Troll. We could have the Cerebus, the three-headed dog. There's like so many. Like that's barely even scratching the surface. And they could all have cool and interesting mechanics. I mean, player, just hire me and I will help you. 
Um, but, you know, you could take my ideas for free also, I suppose. But it would be nice uh, if you just, like, shout me out after using them. That would be cool. But which of these would you love to see in the game? Or is there a boss that you are waiting on putting in the game? For me, the number one would be the Goblin King, actually. I think that that is great, and I would love to see that in the game. But so many cool things here... So many cool ideas. So what do you think of these rotations? What do you think about these gear sets? Is there things that you are farming? Let me know. Let's go ahead and wrap up this on my account. I don't want this video to be too long. Hopefully I've earned your like. And if you're new here, this is kind of what we do. I like to provide value and help the community with topics that have not yet been discussed or recorded. So hopefully if you're new here, we get you as a new subscriber from this video, and then you can check out some of the other amazing content as well. I think that I just wanna touch on the Fatal Gear set here briefly, because I think this is the most undervalued set. I have been waiting to use these sweet new boots, and I am super excited to put those on somebody. This gear set, it is going to give you attack and crit rate. And I think that that is really just underrated. Especially if your cruel gear is not that great, then you can use fatal. I personally love this for especially early or mid game accounts because it's another way to boost your damage and help you hit the stats that you need. The next one is going to be the main one, and obviously this is going to be the most amount that you're going to have. You know, I probably need to be a little bit more strict on my Fatal Gear, but I don't want to. I want to use it. Uh, let's go unequipped, and you can see I still have a decent bit a lot of these are not great. They're like mediocre, like this one here. I was trying to put this on somebody yesterday. I just couldn't find a way to fit it in there. It's got a nice speed roll, but the only other damaging stat is that 6% crit rate. So I just couldn't find a way. Like That's something that we probably want to sell. So what's the difference then? Well, over here, you can have the... The defense percent, crit damage with crit damage, speed, okay? I've had this on a number of different people. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's okay. And then you want to think about lethal as just like another version of Savage, right? We're ignoring the defense. The only difference is we get 10% crit rate on the lethal as well, okay? Now, I think that Lethal and Savage have gone down a little bit in value because of Merciless, okay? Because we have all of these things and then 35% ignore defense, which is the currently the best you can do in the game, I believe. So, Merciless, definitely harder to get than Lethal, though. Lethal, you can farm when Dark Fae is in the rotation. Merciless, you have to try to win those from the rotations in Centranos, the Cursed City, and it's just like you don't have the ability to boost the stats that you're getting. It's completely random, and you don't get that much. So anyway, make sure that you are forging some gear on CVC. I definitely need to do that myself as well. You can tell I have a ton of resources saved up for it, and that is a wonderful way to progress your account with some amazing gear sets. Don't forget to use your promo codes, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.